great terrain, lots of snow, and friendly people. Welcome to Ski Mar Talk. Located near Windsor, Nova Scotia, we are a short 45 minute drive from Halifax and 35 minutes from Chester and Kentville. Martok has something to offer to skiers and snowboarders of all ages and ability levels. The majority of our terrain is rated novice to high intermediate and is groomed on a daily basis. Freestyle riders travel from all across the Maritimes to ride our half pipe and terrain park. Both are rated top in Atlantic Canada. All of our downhill trails are lit for night riding. Martok also has a cross-country ski park with five and a half kilometers of trails that are both groomed and track set. Both the downhill and cross-country ski area are covered by 100% snowmaking capabilities. As long as it's cold, we have snow. Inside our lodge located at the base of the mountain, students and groups are able to relax and purchase food from the canteen. The main office Ski patrol, rental and repair shop, and Klee's Sporting Goods also are located here. Now that you are familiar with the mountain, let's look at the things you should bring and what you can expect during your visit. It is very important to select the proper clothing. A sweater or a pair of jeans are neither wind or waterproof, yet it is amazing to see how many people show up to the mountain wearing only this. Layering your clothing is the most effective way to dress. By using this system, you can easily adapt to abrupt changes in the weather or fluctuations in body temperature. Let's take a closer look at how this works. The first layer acts as a base level insulator. It is also responsible for wicking perspiration off your skin and keeping you dry. Clothing that is made from a polyester material, unlike cotton, works well as a first layer. The purpose of the second layer, also known as a thermal layer, is to keep you warm. A fleece or a wool sweater makes a great second layer. This can easily be removed if things heat up. The third and final layer, also referred to as the odor layer, offers protection against wind and moisture. A good jacket and pants should be breathable and also have a decent waterproof rating. Students and group members also need to bring a toque along with a warm pair of mittens or gloves. Other items to consider include a helmet, UV goggles or sunglasses, a lunch, and money for the canteen. Also, it never hurts to pack a second pair of socks, an extra sweater, and some sunscreen. Rental forms should be completed upon arrival. The rental shop technicians need this information in order to process your gear. Free storage space is available for students to leave their bags. However, there are no secure lockers available. All valuables should be left at home or kept on you at all times. Change the game record. I'm from the city where the sun don't shine. Upon arrival to the hill, students and group members are asked to stay together and not to wander off on their own. When everyone is ready, students and group members can make their way to the rental shop. This is located through the front doors at the base of the mountain. Please note that the doors on the far left of the building are for rental return only. When inside, students and group members can place their bags in the storage area together, then proceed to the rental lineup. Those who own their equipment can head directly to the snow school meeting area. All students and group members will receive a helmet from the rental shop. This must be worn on the mountain at all times. Students and group members caught with Oda helmet will have their pass revoked. For those who are renting equipment to go cross-country skiing, first pick up your boots from the rental counter. Find yourself a seat and get laced up. Be sure that the boots fit. You don't want something that is too big or too small. Once they are on, pick up your skis and poles from the rental counter. Then, make your way outside to the snow school meeting area. Those renting downhill ski equipment will first pick up their boots from the rental counter. When putting your foot into the boot, always make sure that your socks and long underwear are not bunched up inside. After all buckles are done up, take a short walk around and make sure that they feel comfortable on your feet. 
between you and me two. Students and group members can then pick up their skis and poles from the rental counter. When you have all your equipment, head outside to the snow school meeting area.